What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the Onward Research Recce Rig and to see if this thing lives up to all the hype. So the Recce Rig is a chest rig that has gotten a lot of attention over this past year since it's been released. I believe largely due to who it's associated with, Grand Thumb. After Mike started Onward Research and released the Recce Rig, um, you know, everybody was going crazy over this thing. It seemed to be like the chest rig to get, at least at that time. And I don't think we've seen this amount of hype over a piece of kit since T-Rex Arms released a Ready Rig. Both the Recce Rig and the Ready Rig are, you know, two completely different types of chest rigs with different use case scenarios in mind. And, you know, I'm not saying that the only reason those kits are interesting are because, you know, who they're associated with, but, you know, they're both kind of unique in the market and offer different things to the user. I was finally able to get my hands on a Recce rig thanks to Charlie who hit me up and he wanted to send me one. So I started using this thing over these past few months now and I finally figured that I have enough time with this thing to give you guys my opinion on it and show you guys some of the things that I like and some of the things I don't like about it. But before we dive into it, a word from our sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by Core Belts. I absolutely love these belts. I have a video on these things I did a while back. And if you guys follow the link below, it'll get you entered into a giveaway where you'll get a chance to win one of these things every month. So go check them out. Today's video is also sponsored by Americana Pipe Dream. I absolutely love those guys. They are the sultans of surplus. And I hear that they have a surplus of these cool M81 Whoobies. I never leave uh, to go out to the field without the Whoobie. And if you guys want to get your own, go over to Americana Pipe Dream to pick one of these things up. And if you use code BLUEJEAN at checkout, it'll get you 10% off your order there. And if you use the same link that I have down below, you can get entered into winning a cool uh, care package from them. So go check out Americana Pipe. Ugh. So go check out Americana Pipe Dream. So some of the things I'm looking for in a chest rig are ammo capacity, the ability to carry things on you, like different knickknacks and stuff that you might need on your patrol, as well as the harness. As far as the ammo capacity goes, as you can see here, it has four built-in or sewn-in mag slots or mag pouches, which I do prefer. I am a fan of chest rigs that have these built-in mag slots. That's just a personal opinion or preference of mine. And I am also happy that they are closed top, you know, flap style mag pouches. I do like these on my chest rigs and my plate carriers because I found that these have, you know, the added retention of your magazine. So if you're out here in the woods, getting after it, crawling around, you're not gonna lose those magazines or at least as easy as you would if you're using like a taco style pouch. These things also have drainage slits at the bottom of them. So if debris does get in there or water, um, it has a place to go and it's just not stuck at the bottom of the pouch. These mag pouches are, you know, made for your intermediate caliber rifles. So you're able to carry two AR-15 mags or two 545 mags in each of these pouches, or you can carry one 7.62 mag, which you see here. You can technically fit two 7.62 mags in these things, um, but it's kind of less than ideal. And, you know, you're barely able to close this thing. I, I suppose if you're like forced to do so, or you needed to do it, you could, but these things are really designed for, you know, AR-15 mags or, you know, 545 AK mags. As far as the harness system goes on, I'm actually a huge fan of it. It is an H harness style, which I think is superior to the X harness style. You know, a lot of guys, especially skinnier guys, are more of a fan of that X harness because they don't find that H harnesses a little bit too big for them, but you know, grow some freaking lats, go to the gym. But I do find that the H harness is more comfortable for me and it allows for a little bit more versatility because this particular harness and H harnesses in general are better for uh, wearing over armor. So if you wanted to wear your chest rig like over a slick plate carrier or over your plate carrier, it's a lot more comfortable and it sits better on that plate carrier. This chest rig in particular is very comfortable to wear over a slick carrier. I have a whole video on it where I do so. And you know, what's awesome about this H harness in particular is that it's pretty low profile. So if you're wearing it with a ruck, you're not feeling that harness as much and it's not as you know uncomfortable underneath those ruck straps. The chest rig is also able to clip in to any clips that you might have on your plate carrier so you can run this thing as a placard. I'm not a huge fan of doing that, but a lot of guys are. And this thing also has Velcro on the back of it. So you can Velcro on there nicely and you can run it as a placard if you want to. So as far as the storage capacity on this chest rig, that's kind of where I have a little bit of a problem with it, uh, but not too much. As far as ammo capacity, goes you're pretty well set up you can carry a combat loads worth of ammo especially if you're wearing or using you know your AR-15 style magazines or your 545 mags but as far as like carrying the other stuff that you might need on your patrol 
it's kind of limiting you in that way. So as far as storage capacity goes on this test rig, you have two Molly slots here on the sides, which you can see I'm using for this little small GP pouch here and this radio pouch here. But I really wish that it had a little bit more space, maybe a third Molly rose. That way it can give me a little bit more versatility in different pouches that I can run on this thing. Typically on my chest rigs and on my kit in general, I like to carry water on me. I don't like to be completely dependent on a pack. I know if you're out here actually doing recce in real life, you would have a pack on you. But again, I still like to carry, you know, like a Nalgene on me or a canteen. I've been actually gravitating more towards canteens recently just because that they, I feel like they can tour better to your body or not just like a big sphere of water. And I know you can, can carry water on this thing. I know Spear Systems has a uh, Nalgene pouch that would fit here. But I found like these two Molly rows limit you and your ability to carry, you know, anything else that you might want on there. And on this rig in particular, if I was to put a Nalgene right here, I would lose the capacity to carry, you know, it's different stuff I might need for the patrol. But overall, I think the Recce rig is an excellent chest rig. I'd say it is the most comfortable chest rig that I own. I like the mag pouches on it. I like the harness. I like how comfortable it is to wear over body armor and under a ruck. Uh, the only thing I just wish it had was one extra row of molly, which I think would increase its versatility in the different pouches that you can run with it. But overall, great chest rig. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram at Blue Jean Operator or go to my website, thebluegeneoperator.com to find some cool shirts and merch, which helps to support the channel. Also guys, if you want to support the channel directly, you got Patreon, helps me buy ammo, guns, gear, all that kind of stuff, which goes into running a gun channel. Also got a couple different levels on there, which will get you access into my secret Discord chat where we can talk about fun stuff. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.